The gospel we're choosing for this Sunday is the one about where Jesus appointed others to do his work well. When he was at his workplace, he needed extra workers. And he said, I'm sending out you two by two because there's so much work to do out there. And uh, so that's the gospel we're, we're using today as my last, last gospel. And he uh, realized very soon when he started his public life that uh, there was only one of him, 12 apostles, and he ne needed to multiply the workforce, and so he did. He appointed, uh, well, when he had 12, he had 1,200% increase. And then there's still more to do, and so he points 72, lots to do, great harvest out there. And even after 2,000 years later, there's still much work to be done. And so if anybody's looking for a job, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunity, but I think you should be very uh, wise to ask a few questions. So uh, what kind of business was Jesus in? Well, to tell you the truth, he's in people business. And his entire life was helping people. So you can think about that. People business is what, uh, what it's all about. And some people think it's mostly, mostly about religious stuff. That's not really so. We know that Jesus took care of the hungry. He healed the sick. He visited the lonely. He uh, took care of the, forgave the guilty. And uh, he kind of uh, confronted the proud, and he helped the uh, oppressed. So that's it. so. The main business today then is still helping people. So if you want a job, that's one of the things you can look at. One question. Another question you might ask about working for Jesus is, uh, do I have to commute? Matter of fact, you don't. No commute needed. Right where you are, home, neighborhood, school. Hospital, nursing home, shelters, all available. You don't have to commute. And so we need to, uh, but in doing all of that, we need to cultivate an awareness of where the problems are. So we can really be helpful in doing Jesus' work. And of course, you got some examples of Zacchaeus. He knew Zacchaeus was in trouble, so he called Zacchaeus down out of the tree and said, Hey, Zacchaeus, I need to be with you. Then you notice the widow who put in two pennies, and he made made people aware that that was a very very important thing because she she gave from her need, not from her her ex, her excess. He saw the cripple by the pool. He was there, but I said the scripture I think says like thirty some years, nobody even noticed him anymore, except Jesus did when he came by. So well, being aware is very much a part of the people business, aware of the needs that people have. And then another question you might ask, you might ask, what's the salary? Well, in, in dollars and cents, it's not really very much. Uh, necessities, yes, Jesus said you, uh, everybody's were, is able to and should receive necessities for their labor. And of course, the necessities is food, clothing, shelter, no problem. I think he, that's, that's, a, that's a good part of the salary and a good part of the reward. But the best reward of all is a personal satisfaction. And that's, uh, that's how one gets the greatest reward. The rest are just necessities. So the finished product is people. And working with people is, uh, is very uh, important. And the place is anywhere. And the salary is job satisfaction. And I think that's about, uh, about as good as you can do. In this kind of this day and age and the way the way the economy is but this is one job that's available you can apply